Uh, apparently the peasants have completely crushed Azka Evren. Hey, Gilkalis did exactly what I wanted them to. A royal marriage is going to be a, a pain, though. Can I afford one stab hit just to get Varamhar as a vassal? Probably. We also have good relations. I think as soon as Gilkalis makes a claim there, we'll just attack. If I attacked Elisna, Sariand would join me. Varamhar would not join them. That's actually perfect. Yeah. And like, literally, what are you going to do about it? Oh, okay. So, naval-wise, I have no navy. Come on, retreat. Uh, don't lose a ship, don't lose a ship, don't lose a ship, please. Okay, they lost a ship, and I did not. That sounds like a frickin' win. And you're only retreating there, so you're going to get stack-wiped. We'll take over this sea... We'll let it go for a little bit longer, and then we'll take over the siege... They're only peasants, after all. Oh wait, we'll siege this first. So yeah, Sariand actually went to help me there. That's actually perfect. So, what I want from this guy is literally just the vassal here. Death of Telerius. Even elves are mortal, though the other races so often forget this, as generations will pass with the same rulers still holding firm to life and their position. Though it is not our ruler who has passed, the bells tolling from the temples all over Bulwa mark the death of another, Telarius Irleazuir, the sun elven king of Erlium, who pulled the disparaged pieces of the new sun cult back together after Jexis Jehurzwir's assassination. There are stirrings in the temples already as prominent figures scramble to prevent chaos. Apparently, many parts of the inner workings of the faith were seen to by Telerius himself, and only he. The lords and priests in Erlium seem to be trying to organize some form of council to try and find solutions to this potential crisis that everyone can accept. We should start calling in favours now, so that we might get some backing for our own positions in that council. We would not want to be left in the shade while others danced in the sun. Oh, Erlium's king is dead. The future of the new sun co will be decided soon one way or another. Fun. Yeah, let's fight you while you've got few troops. Oh, he's not, he's not coming this way. Alright. Yeah, I'll wait until you're on in the positive, and then I'll just make it more positive. A separate piece with Asgard Evren is is probably going to be on the cards. Uh, make you a vassal, conquer Fajarl Harbad. Nailed that pronunciation, by the way, just so you should be aware. Also, that's gold. <laughs> no, you're at war once more. Our banks are always open. I do have 150 gold of debt. Okay, I mean... I believe Amanda might be in my chat, not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, we'll repay that loan, why not? Alright, they're positive now, so we're gonna go in. Oh, look at Varamhar, just like, not Varamhar, sorry. Fuck Varamhar. Uh, Sarian being an absolute legend. Why is he moving his troops? Who are you war with? No one. The invitations to send out to all the temples, lords and prominent figures in Bulwa. The council will take place one year from now in Medurabar, a city which sits on the conflux of the Surin and Buranan rivers in Erlium territory. The debates will take place in a grand hall that has been prepared in the city to hold all the delegations and splendor that will, no doubt, begin to arrive in short order. Now we only have to decide how grand our own delegation should be. A large and splendid one could both show our support for the cause of unity and help make us seem a powerful player in these matters. But if we are to outshine both friend and rival, 
we will have to be unconcerned with cost. Is that a massive delegation for 10 prestige? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, sure. So yeah, we take over that siege, not a problem. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so much! They're going absolutely fucking ham. Uh, Sarian has no use for this land, they can't reach it, so... They're just giving it all to me. It's beautiful. Pearl's Edge is the new Emperor, interesting. What we can do is get ourselves 174 crowns with some efficient tax farming. Or we could go with 4,000 member. I think the money at this point would be for the best. Then we can pay off that loan and still have a bit of money left over. The delegations have been arriving regularly these past few months and now all are finally assembled. Most nations and groups in Bulwa have sent at least a token delegation to represent their interests in these debates though some have decided that they are above such things and would prefer to keep to themselves in this. No matter, there are more than enough here to make the decisions we need and enforce them. Alright, the debates on how our religion shall go have started, and also there's been an attack on a warehouse, because of course... Calls of fire in the dead of the night. Nearby citizens look on as workers with all manner of buckets and vessels bring water to try and douse the flames consuming one of the warehouses. We did not catch the arsonist or arsonists responsible, but we did find a wand of burning hands with the maker's mark still on the bottom. The maker has been tracked down to the capital city of Sarayand. Guess I'm not too worried about, because early I'm going to have to go through mountain forts to get anything. Verkal Gulden. Oh. Oh no, Verkal Gulden, why did you release these? Or is that just a, a scripted Jadari has exploded event? I think that's actually the case. Yeah, I think that's the case. Never mind. What's Kedarada doing? These are Sun Elves. Leave the Sun Elves alone. Oh, he's probably de that. But I think with this war against Erlium, like, what I need to do is get a... Ideally, take this entire coastline so I can then attack Elisna as well and take the peninsula. Something that would be the most ideal situation. Well, that's just rude. For too long have individual nations been debating the proper place of Surreal's chosen within Bulwari society. Some of the more zealous among us believe the Sun Elves to be God Kings, infallible and ineffable, to be kept away from the masses and to interact with them only through the clergy. Some believe them divinely inspired rulers and chosen champions. There are also those who think that they are simply the ones chosen to lead us to Surreal's light, not to carve the path or allow us to see it, but to guide us on it as equals. Whatever the case, it must be decided here and now what the chosen truly mean to us. So, first debate, the role of the Chosen Society. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, yeah, God Kings are allow lesser beings to glimpse the light. Mm, yeah, I want, I want to increase, increase the Chosen role level, always. And we've Siege Eduzwez. What happens... Wait, you took the siege from me as well? That's such bastardry. I just want this. But yeah, early I'm just got wrecked. Which obviously is beautiful. You went God King's new sun cult, you were Elven Supremacist. Yes. Was there something else there, or...? Yes. Yes, indeed. That's gonna fall real quick if he gets involved. That actually was a very painful fight. 
Yeah, I could have sworn I sieged that. It's really annoying. I mean, we kind of have to take that on. Yeah, I have to go through Asga Everin to get that peace deal. That's madness. Hey, can we get Zanbar to siege that for me, please? Alright, so these guys are dead. How many do you need? Nine? So I'll give you 4,000 troops. This is almost all siege, which is lovely. And yeah, thankfully they're not taking that back, which is, yeah, definitely really good for us. I'm going to make this guy a vassal, so I probably shouldn't be killing his boats. But hey, he'll take more. The results are in. 14.2% say the Chosen are God Kings to be worshipped as Suriel given earthly form. 33.3% say the Chosen are rulers by Suriel's will and should actively fight the darkness. 28.5% say the Chosen should lead the fight against the darkness with the assistance of the people. 23.8% say Suriel only meant for the Chosen to guide the people on the path to the light. No one says the Chosen are too precious to stain themselves with the mundane task of ruling, and 33.3% of countries have chosen to follow Erlium's lead. Uh, a bunch of people have, uh, you know, voted in the first debate. Lovely. Uh, unity increased. Fantastic. I captured two boats. Like, ideally, the war goal... Sorry, the war would be, I take your vassal, and uh, you end your alliance with Wait, you've already ended your alliance with Erlium. Nice. Truce with Harpylin has ended. But I can't really do anything because I need this land as well. This land needs to be taken first. No CB is obviously not on the cards. I think with Baharkand, I might get him to just like conquer all of this. Actually, if I take down to here, Elisna will conquer this herself. Or himself, or whatever. So that could be a way we uh, go through this anyway. It would be nice to get down to at least East Rakubutu, um, so that you know they aren't able to take all the land around here. Our clergy has, until now, been made up of human priests and administrators who guide the populace in the worship of Suriel and his chosen people, the Sun Elves. It has always been their place to teach the masses the proper methods and rituals of worship, and act as liaisons between the more isolated, deified elves and the common folk. Some have proposed, however, to hand over leadership of the clergy to the Sun Elves themselves, thus allowing them to dictate the proper way to worship directly. They would then teach these ways to the human priests under them, who would in turn teach the commoners. Come on. Win Sage, 49%. There we go. Right, you will give me that and end your alliance with Rayuel and Elisna. No, not Elisna. Fine, fuck you. Shit, I should have taken Fal Faljabahar or whatever. Okay, well, never mind. Now we're 99% with you. We will just take peace. I want that. I want that. Kind of want his capital. Maybe we'll leave the capital. I mean, who's really going to care? What do I have claims on? Just I'll take everything that I've got a claim on then. And I'll pillage your capital. And I will humiliate you. And I will take 19 consolation ducats. Anyway, mission fulfilled. A new era. Uh, gives me permanent claims on Erlium, Lower Brassan, and Upper Brassan areas. Strengthen our hold. I need all of those places. 
Uh, can I declare war on you, please? Right, take these off. So that hopefully you'll start claiming on that. I mean, I could build a spy network. I don't think I can claim that through my vassal, right? No. <laughs> Fuck's sake. How many provinces have I got in Bulasar right now? 51. Okay, halfway there. Well, I guess I al I'm also going to have to develop to get the Renaissance. How happy are you with me? I think once I get to 20, I demand Shrillic. Yeah, I get to 20, I demand Shrillic. Make the claim. And then I could pass the claim to Gilkalis and give him Shrillic back. Declare, take this. Then we declare on Harpylen, take all of Harpylen's land, and in the process also vassalize Varamhar. Because we can do that. The results of the second debate are in. 38% believe that the Chosen should lead the faith that worships them. 61.9% believes that no changes to the system are necessary. And 38% of countries have chosen to follow Erlium's lead. What? No, no I can't. Askasur was the first of us all to declare upon and defeat the gnolls of Zaka. You are misguided in your accusations. They are stealing our glory. They are elves of Bolwar. You have already vastly overstepped into our lands. No. Stealing is fucking glory. I care not for your glory, sir. And then it'll be, because it'll be, after Ask Us, sir, it'll be, oh, Sariand is stealing their glory, or oh, Bulwar is stealing our glory, or oh, Erlium, and then, you know, no, 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 we can't just keep fucking rolling over for this guy. It's not gonna happen. He's already the fucking first rank great power. The tolerance of heretics in the new Sun Cult is another matter that has largely been left up to individual leaders to decide upon. This can be dangerous, however, when one lord believes that they must be persecuted at all costs and another is willing to tolerate them in their city. This often leads to wars between otherwise peaceful, surreal, respecting neighbours. We should use this opportunity to decide what to do with the heretics in Bulwar and beyond, so that when the time comes, all know the correct path, and no one can complain about how they were handled. That one works for me. Okay, it was a bad seed. Oh yes, 100%. Alright. Gekalis, I'm going to seize Shrillic or Lover's Roost. Whichever one is lower. 20... 15. Alright, Shrillic it will be. Also, I'll grant you my claim on on Unviolet. Eighteenth. We'll see what they say. Wasn't expecting that. I will throw them some ducats in payment. I'll take a loan for it. I will take several loans, because these are cheaper. Because it is then basically selling the land. How much la How much would it be then? Two 220 ducats. 220 ducats. 225 it will have to be. Screw it, we're going on the short side. 
And Gekalis is going to have... Beautiful! And now we declare war on Harpylin. Monstrous Conquest, Varmha is going to be that. Uh, Ask a Sir could help. And then you don't want to help. They're already at war with Varmha, okay. So you've gone after that. I mean, if you take that, I'll just vassalize the rest of it. I'm actually kind of fine with that. Knew that was coming. You don't want anything against me other than all of my fucking friend's land. I am not happy with this person. All of Bulwar will be ours. It is a matter of time. It does put me my, below my relations limit, though, so I'm no longer losing dip. The results of the third debate are in. 25% say that the heretics cannot be saved. They must die. 40% say that it is our duty to help guide them back to the light. 35% say that they are of no consequence and should be ignored. 25% are agreeing to follow Erlium's lead. Renaissance... I mean, it's spreading in him, which will eventually come to me. But man, we're in such a shitty place for it. I think what we need is to just develop it in attack bar. Might as well just do it now. Get the local dev cost thing. Then attack bar. It's present. Now to embrace is 500 gold. Holy shit. <sighs> Rivaled me. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to vassalize you. Right after this war. I'll go over my dip limit, right? Vassal. 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 Do I take that admin tech? Yeah, it's only 10% extra cost. Knowles. The demon-spawned monsters of a bygone age that linger still in the deeper deserts and hills of Sahal and Bulwar. Once, they reigned over humankind, enslaving them and oppressing them. Though it is said that before the Jazobine came, many of the human cities prospered under Knollish rule. That prosperity still came with heavy taxes, and the knowledge that the money came from exploitation and enslavement of humans. After the Jazobayan, of course, things in Bulwar were nightmarish. Though she was eventually defeated, Nolish warlords would go on to ravage Bulwar in constant fights and raids for power and slaves. Everything changed when Jaharian Tajuranhuria arrived in 1001 after Ash and began his liberation of Bulwar and the lands beyond. The Sun Cult named him Surreal Reborn after he banished the Gnolls from our lands and freed the human cities from their oppressive yoke. But the gnolls of today are not the gnolls of the past, and we must decide what is to become of them. Large taunch decrease of gnolls. Of course, they are the spawn of demons who enslaved this land for centuries, or must die. Now what do I take as my first tech as well? I think probably quality. We are elves after all. The quality of our armies are... It is kind of essential. Quantity for Keterata. This is so going to get invaded by Keterata, and he's going to use that to get to war with them as well. This is also a good province to dev. It's got the cotton and the farmlands. That might be how I get the next thing. Come on, take land so that I can take the rest of it. I need you to finish your war. Sariand, please. Is it because they can't take this? I mean, they should be able to. They could give it to Azkabar. Take it through Azkabar. I think it's because of Kalsad. That's what they're really wanting. It's a shame that I sieged it. It'd be nice if I could, you know, pass that away. I guess while I wait for them to figure out what the fuck they're doing, I might as well attack Elisna. Elisna's allied with Sariand. But Sarian won't join them. Asuka Everin will, though. Which I actually don't care about. That works for me, actually. 65% say gnolls are vile demons and must be completely exterminated. 30% say that sending them back from whence they came is good enough. 5% say they are lost, like we once were, and must be shown the light of Surreal. 
65% of the countries have chosen to follow Erlium's lead. 